stuff now. Let me make sure. Look good at it. Well, go on, sports fans, welcome back to another very special episode. I'm your host, Joe Mar. I'm Rush. And this is the Side Out Sports TV, the place you guys come to get the best, most interesting, and everything sports topics, discussions, and debates on the internet. Yes, but before we get into today's video, don't forget to like this one, leave a comment, and subscribe to this Side Out Sports TV. And do one more thing first, though share the video to at least 10 people to ensure to get us subscribers. Because if each and every one of you guys can manage to do that, you know how many subscribers that get us by the end of the day, people. Yes, yes, yes. And as you can see on the screen, international debates over and over. I didn't just want to screen me, first of all. The are on the screen, first of all. That's the first thing. Yeah, it looks funny. They get messy. Yeah, it looks funny. And you know, yeah, the ear could kind of warm. Yeah, but, yeah it looks funny. And the beard kind of rough, but you know, so sometimes you have to do it rough. You get messy because I don't really, every time, and I really every time the girl them want them want somebody pampered and and groove and look sometimes they want somebody rough and like gruff you get me I say ladies if you are watch put in the comment section below don't don't be like you know the ladies you want really rough sometimes they care eh? they care what do you mean if we care they care what the ladies want why me wouldn't care what the ladies I care want? zero the ladies you care what the ladies want <laughs> I don't like that. I give her one lady one. Oh, that's what I guess. So why? I don't come here to come switch it up. I switch it up with she. So I know what she want. You really want roughness and toughness. And that's the lady it's one right now. It's not about... Stop coming here to come sell people them dreams before. <laughs> that's just that me at all. But I don't know what's going on in your personal life. No, but obviously, I look smart. No, it sounds like you know what's yeah, going on. Every day you come here. No, but it sounds like you know what's going on in your personal life. I mean, I tell you, there's I, something that they want to tell me about myself that I, I don't know about myself. I care zero about what the ladies want. They get me, I say. You care about what the ladies want? Bro, so I'm not care about what the ladies want. Well, yeah, yeah. Man, guy? If you are selling something, you are selling something. It's not now. a matter of selling, because I'm going to be selling something. So be careful of things that you speak. It's not like you are selling something. It's not like you are selling something to me. Yes, Let's get in my video. I'm not going to take this. But you're not trying to get in my video. I'm not going to take this. No, guy. I'm not going to still. Wait, yeah, wait. Tell you. People, we're here to recap the latest international window. Um, Jamaica played in the Nations League. We played Haiti and Grenada. Both games we won. Um, I'd say convincingly, but we're here to break it down and talk about what happened in the games. Yeah. First of all, how do you feel about your reggae boys after this window? Um, better or worse? Better. Mm. Better. Can't be Much worse. Can't a lot be better. Worse because of how we performed the last window. Mm -hmm. It's hard to perform worse than how we performed in the last window. If we're being honest, that'd be really, really hard. You know, if it, if it do worse than what we do. Mm -hmm. you know, in what was it, September? Yeah. So, definitely better than how I was feeling before. You know, and the results are better as well. You know, um, still a lot of room for improvement. Yeah. But we're moving in the right direction. We are. One thing I will say, yes, I feel better about the reggae boys, but I expected to feel much better. Yeah. If if if, if that makes any yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. I wanted us to be so much further along on the process. It's been what, over a year. Mm -hmm. Um, since Argentina took over, probably a year and a half at this point. Yep. Um, we're January come out to make two years, right? Or last year January, I don't even remember. But it can't be last year January. Last year January was the World Cup. Yeah. This January was the World Cup. So it's over a year. I expected this Jamaica. December, so yeah, so they get the tune up. Yeah, you know, like the November. Then. Yeah, yeah. Um, this. It's about a year. Yeah. About a year, yeah, about, yeah, a year. Yeah, about, about a year, about a year. year. So, a year in the job, I expected Jamaica to look much better. Um, when I think about the talent that we have, I expected us to look way better. But I can't say we look bad. I can't say we look worse than we did before I got took over. But I just expected better. Yeah. And I, I don't. People probably say we win the two games, blah blah blah. But I've been thinking, bro. When last. I mean, I don't want to sound too harsh. Obviously, we're going to get into the games, but we just had a, you know, overall good reggae boys right now. It's been a minute since we beat a team that we're not supposed to. So, when I'm thinking about these results, I said that to say, when I think about these results, I don't want to get carried away too much. You know, because we're supposed to do this. In fact, we probably should have done better in one, in at least one of these games yeah. than we did. So I don't want to get carried away and too much because these are these games. I mean, one of the four games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. At least one of them. But so I far, could say all four. It could say all four. Yeah. In terms of performance, it could yeah. say all four. Mm -hmm. Scoreline flat out sometimes, but 
we are, in at least one of these games we should be doing, we, we should have done better um especially on the score line so i wouldn't think about Haiti coming and joining us in our backyard it's just unacceptable but as i said it's been a while since we beat a team that we're not supposed to beat our enter a game as underdogs and come out with a win it's been a while so we don't want to get too hyped on these results yes we're winning and everybody love to win but me can't praise it me, me in a weird situation where more some of feel good but me can't praise the wins too much because we beat grenade and hate it who we're supposed to beat yeah you know, and especially in this grenade the, the, the hate game we should have i personally feel like we should have you know done better we got so many chances where we, if we if we were clinically in that game we had to get five and also conceding goals conceding goals that we're not supposed to, score, to concede and it's the same goes over and over teams just know to just lump crosses in the box at this point we can't stop crosses from coming out we can't with a head and our except or you know or or backline average all our center back men except maps are over six two Every single one of them, Ethan Pinnock, like 6'4, Damian, like 6'3, maybe. Michael Bernard, Bernard, Michael Lecter. Michael Lecter. Mm -hmm. All of them. And our wing backs aren't smart. Yeah. Alright, they're not. All of them probably not over 6'2, but they're not smart. They may say Greg Lee, Amar, Amar Bell deceiving it all too. Yeah. They get me, I say so. That is something that we need to address. Def our, our defensive shape is awful, I believe. Our yeah. wide players don't help our, our wing backs at all. Um, well, they're doing in part. Sometimes I see Liam Bailey trap back if he's playing wide. But I mean, like, see much defensive help from them, I agree, may I be honest. Obviously, going forward, he's the man and you can't leave him out. But if he's, if we're asking him to do that, we have to have cover. Either from our central midfielders, put somebody else yeah, in the midfield. I, I think cover, when but... they're playing 4 4 2, I think it's incumbent on the central midfielders more so to cover than the, than the wide. No, man, if you, no, man, if you have to play left midfield and not left wing. Yeah, but, after defend. But to be honest, bro, I don't think we play a four-four-two. It's more like a four-two-four. That is what. That's what, that's what, what we're doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's not really like, like a four-four-two mm -hmm. per se. We play with four-four. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what we're doing. So the fact that you have two, oftentimes not we didn't see that. Yeah, yeah, we didn't see that in the last year. But oftentimes you have two holes in the pillars. I think it's more incumbent on on you know or or central defenders to push out and our midfielders to cover mm -hmm. or our midfielders to cover directly you know and interchange mm -hmm. and i think that's what needs adjusting and tweaking yeah that, as i don't think there's enough rotation yeah as i said yeah. i don't think there's enough rotation yeah but now someone wants to say them are great i live with Amar Bell at the left back position or at the left side of the field because what that would take away from us going forward it's too much to lose yeah. at this point. If it is that one we'll get the ball and get the ball to our outlets as fast as possible, yeah. so they might agree, stay in the space, stay wide, good. But if we're doing that, on the other side, maybe Liam Bailey can't be as high as a suggestion. Maybe the two central uh, midfielders, one of them come across and one just have to you know, favor the left side that's, that's and, what, and what, vice what versa. Happened. But what have to, what have to do better with our defensive and the shape? center backs have to, you know, it, it, in order to play with a 4-2-4 four, four, because at this point that's what it is 4-2-4 four, four. it, 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 four it is I guess when Bobby Reed plays it's an extra man in the midfield yeah what? in the in the Grenada game I saw that where, where Bobby Reed was, was it was it this window yeah, yeah, yeah. Bobby, in no man it was a window before yeah Bobby Reed the Bobby Reed captain in the Grenada game mm, no man I thought with the window before and Bobby Reed seemingly played in the midfield yeah. And that looked okay. You, that looked more, that, extra body. That looked more like a 4 3 3. Mm -hmm. When he was doing that, you get mm -hmm. like he was playing one forward and probably yeah. as, as a deeper midfielder. But if you are going to do this, the, the, the defense has to be more dynamic. Yeah. We have to move more. We have to switch more. We, we have to help. Yeah. The wing, the, the central defensive midfielders, or mm -hmm. as you said, the wide midfielders have to help. And I think it's more likely that the, the, the holding midfielders. We have one in the middle and one help. And then we we'll do that for the other side. Or, or the what we did see before where Lambert dropped in at the, yeah. in at the, in at the back line, the back and, line and, and into a tree. That's what I mean. I said that away, it has to be dynamic. Mm -hmm. But you it's not great. The right? way how the defense moves, it has to be smoother. Because we cannot have open squares like, mm -hmm. like wide midfielders for the other teams and yeah. wing backs having a million miles in, in diameter. Yeah. To do anything with them wonder with the ball. Just dress it and control it and look up. The tallest man, the right this one. Look back on my ball. Dress it some more. Then put it right on him head. Yeah. And then after that happened now, the tallest man in the box are get between the two other tall man them for full team. That no make no sense. Mm. May I check the heat map them? Come on and see where we central midfielders are. Um, obviously Daniel Johnson obviously is on the left side yeah. of the of the pivot. You can see that he's a bit deep. He's where he's supposed to be, yeah. if I'm being honest. 
Um, obviously, going forward, you're going to see him pick up these pieces. That's about there. He's where he's supposed to be, also, centrally. But that goes to what we're saying. We now get the central midfielders ahead of the wing backs, which is the if the them are stay high. Yeah, so this it. this plane to what we are saying. And and so obviously you, that, you don't want to see Lati Body a little bit over here. Yeah, so. exactly. So that's what I want to see the heat man. You know? Yeah, when yeah, the yeah. ball is wide, Lati Body here I, I help cover Lemby Kisa. Yeah, you yeah. get me? I say? When it go the other side, Daniel Johnson I help cover Greg Lee. You see me? And then Lati Body here stays central. Um Lemby Kisa tuck closer to theme other central defender, which would have been Dane and Low. Mm-hmm. And then it switch like that. And you move side to side. You get me? I say? There's no move. <laughs> this again plays into exactly what I'm saying. This is the Margaret's heat map. Yeah. Mm, dif- zero defenders are forward. I understand. I understand. Yeah. And especially this is not the formation of a player. Yeah. We suppose not a midfielder. But the Margie was our left winger slash yeah. midfielder, whatever yeah. game you want to say. But you can see in this that his defensive game was He's non existent. He's not coming He's back. He's never coming back. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna say a bit more from Liam Bale. A little bit more. But also dear Liam Bale is, yeah. is pretty high. Yeah. They get me I say so. That's what I mean when I say our defensive shape needs to improve. Going forward, yeah, they, I think that a defensive coach is necessary right yeah, now. Yeah. There needs to be something dynamic about our defense. And, and you know, the, bro, there's nothing dynamic about our offense now. Bro, you know, you and know. Demar Gray and, and, and Leon Bale let our offense. You know, you know what I get to realize with our offense, we don't get the ball to them enough. We don't get the ball to them as many times as we want to. And even in the games that we do, we're not clinical enough. Because you think about it. When the ball go forward, bro, things happen. It's just that the ball don't go forward nearly enough. Our midfielders keep turning back the ball. Uh, we keep losing the ball in the midfield. The ball can't go to the pass. I we can't pass the ball. But whenever, think about it. When Mikel Antonio get the ball, of trouble. Yeah. Shemani Kazi get the ball, of trouble. Do, um, Leon Bailey get the ball, things are happening. Uh, whenever Bobby Reed play, him try and make things happen, especially in a Grenada game. We don't have to talk about them or agree. Things happen when the ball reach. The ball reach. just not reach. When Whisper get the ball, we yeah. even seen at the, yeah. the, the most recent game. As in get the ball and look for take a shot, never quite come out, but things are happening. The ball just now reach as, as much as I'd want it. And I feel like those are the two key things that we need for address. One, attacking progression, like when we have the ball, progress the ball a bit faster. Um, keep playing forward passes instead of sideways and backwards. And our defensive shape have to improve. Yeah. When we play better teams though, we might we might have to just go into attacking football. Cause this moment when I see where I get most much reps in keeping the football and dominating the midfield. What I see is keeping the ball in the back line and as soon as the midfield get to turn it back or play a long pass or whatever. But I don't see much to say we'll be comfortable on the ball against better teams. Yeah, neither me. And as I said that we have weapons in counter attack. Mm. But but love love what Mikel and Tony bring to the regular yeah, boys. Yeah, if, if we have a counter attack bro and if we are gonna do that it can't be too far that it has to be one of pass up midfield some more. You get me? So I got to use two holding midfielders, and then the midfielders in Africa cover the wing back them better. Because if we plan to counter attack, they might have and they need to be up the field out wide. We we'll get the ball to them, mm-hmm. and then just make things happen against the surging and the best of the world. You get me? I and I'll find the dangers of the world. That's the only way we can see us working um, a counter attacking strategy. So we, we still have to tighten up. Like, yeah. defensive shape, defensive movement, we have to work on that, bro. I don't yeah. think. Bro, you know, I'm gonna play football for some coach, I'm gonna listen to some coach, some coach talk. Like, defense is something where them work on. Like, them have strategy to how them play defense and how them defense move. Mm-hmm. It's not just putting four defenders on the field and then each man just defend. Yeah. You get me? I say, it's a case where the ball go wide, this man has step forward, this man has cover, this it's man has jump. Again. You get exactly, it's, it's just like it is. On, and I don't see yeah, that yeah. type of movement yeah. when the regular boys play. And that's how we always get. Always getting caught out, and men are always unmarked in the box. So you say our defensive game is not great. So I will not attract runners into the box. No, but that's unacceptable if that's the case. We have good defenders. We have we have really good defenders. Yeah. We have we have top of the line defenders. You yeah. think about when he, whenever Ethan Pinnock plays, eh, to be fair, he's always good. Yeah, but we have. But even um, Ethan Pinnock play, we still can't see, still can't see the same, same goal. kind of goal. But why is it that cross it? Obviously, you know when cross is score, you either not track your runner, yeah, ball watch, things like that. It's oh, yes, oh, you just shot, and, and it's not. That's and not the case. And at the end of the day, bro, if you give a man five five hours for making cross, I will not have professional that footballer. Yeah, you not think you might go put the ball right for the man here? That's the next problem too. But then, 
if the wing back is all by himself. Yeah. What does he do? If I worry about the man, I go tuck in wide for the little diagonal true pass from the wing back. Or I worry about the square. So I don't know if he will go or yeah. if he will stay. So we need to know so that the keys are going hard. Let the body have a job. Mm-hmm. That needs to be a thing. But that's not happening. Yeah. So it's Lemby Kisa by himself. He's not reaching time because he's not worried about the space in, in behind him because there's nobody covering that space. Yeah. And then, then get in the square. And eventually, he still have got to the square because the man has a square now. So that space is still there. You get me? I said, then they alone might have to move forward. Yeah. The central defender still not drop all now. The central defender still not to cover all now. Central defender still caught in no man's land. And that's something we see affect with. Years. And it's the small things. It's the small things like those. You know, you go watch the game and you go say, oh, we scored three goals, them scored two. But when you think about a hated team that I can't say they're not a big presence. Them not no big strong man we're supposed well, to out muscle with. The yeah, in big, but like we big too. That's yeah. what I mean. I said that for them presence now nah, affect we not the game yeah. overall. So when you think about it, why are we conceding two goals to Haiti? No, why is we a grenade? Why why is we grenade? We don't think I can four goals from here in two games. And why grenade? Grenade are not supposed to score for the Jamaican team ever. Mm-hmm. Now I tell you that number eighteen the grenade can knock some leather. I mean, I use him our team, bro. No, like, of make course. A, couldn't make a team. I me mean, not saying could I make a team, but we could. We definitely could I use something like that. Somebody where I take up, brother. Every time get, one him now yeah, lose the ball. We have that, like, the man and him agree, agree. We have bro, that we could I use him? Him <laughs> can't make a team. <laughs> why could I, why can't make a team? Him can't make a national team. Him play for gang, for, for you, yeah, Finn, bro. Yeah, him can't so why him can't make a national team? I will have man a play in a league one and make a national team. Behavior, bro. That man they could not make a national team. <laughs> I'm fine him. Big man thing. <laughs> Me, uh, where dog's name, but bro, I was so impressed with him. I forgot to reload that page. But yeah, I need some more of that. I need some more of that, but the little things that you mentioned, bro. I believe the average fan now has a seat, but those are things you need, need to improve on. We are never going. We're not going to say never, but at this point, we don't have the midfielder that is going to control and boss the game. So guess what we have to have? Robust defenders, spatially aware defenders, yeah. which kind of beat right now. And that, I guess that comes with chemistry and knowing. I'm more assume so the defenders are spatially aware they just don't know how to play with each other. I'm going to assume that. Yeah, I want to see it come together a little bit better. Yeah. You see me? But let's talk about the games individually and then we're going to move on to the competition itself. Uh, the Grenada game. The first one, weaken team, so I'm not gonna kill them too much. These players, I know what good on her, Yeah, you know, mind it. Yeah, um, weaken team, we won that game 4 1. Grenada was, was in the game for a lot, even when they were losing, it's almost like they were still getting chances. Way in the game, way too much, way, way more than they should have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, this Grenada team, are you pleased with that game? I guess it's going to be a rotated team, by the way. So I'm not. Keep that in your perspective. I'm not. And I remember as soon as the, 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 the final is the blue, Enel text me the group and say, the worst 4 1 this ever. Big up Enel, by the way. Yeah, big up Enel every time. Um, And, bro, I shared his sentiments. Yeah. Like, I wasn't satisfied. You know, yes, it was our second team, but it was still a team good enough to put some passes together. You get me? I said, play some football. Um, Make, make us see what we have. Yeah. You get me, I say? Or, or defensive midfielder, like, like but there. Couldn't play football on the day. You couldn't play football on the day, you get me, I say? Um, Bernard, though showing great individual skill, was very clumsy and made too many mistakes. You get me, I say? Greg Lee. Why? Jesus. Because he's on the Aji Bones, dog. Aji bro. Aji Bones, I dog. Dog, Greg Lee, I kill me, bro. Greg Lee, I kill me. More. Obviously, he's a good defender. Is a machine. Mm-hmm. Greg Lee get tired. From when I see the, the reggae boy shirt. I can't tell you so much Greg Lee every day in England. But whenever I'm off the ball, bro, it's almost like a hot. The ball hot, bro. One control off. The dog need to control the ball a bit. That's the next thing to a first touch. The first yeah, touch for all around. But again, yeah. the pitch. Yeah. So it, it's like, you know what? There are things that we're not pleased with, but then there are so many contributing factors. Bro, but we still feel the better still. I'm playing in CONCACAF. Yeah. Yeah. We're playing in CONCACAF, we're so playing see, at the CFU. Are you so it, we cannot keep complaining about pitches. Yeah. We're not playing in UEFA, bro. Far from the course at this point. You just expect, don't expect great pitches. But when the ball bump on them, I guess we can't beat them too much. But even without that, bro, Greg Lee just because after the better when the ball. You're playing in CONCACAF, you, you travel to Nicaragua, you go play on third. 
You travel to San Pedro Sula, you go and play in a grass, three inches thick. You get me, I say? The only place you like get seriously good surfaces, mm-hmm. probably you go Costa Rica, USA, Mexico, and Canada. Yeah. You know, everywhere else in the region, but in Central America, especially in the Caribbean, you yeah. never get great pitches. And That's just how it is in Kankata. Maybe when it comes to Jamaica. That's true, we need to go. You name before, I would never eat there. Eh, no, because I'm not that when I'm going to go for the road. No, I'm not even play for bad pitches when I'm coming here. When, when they go to Mobile, where it was awful. When they play National Stadium, home. where it was awful. Right. So, the, the great pitch is guaranteed. In this game, though, I will. I like what I saw from Mamara Williams. Obviously, he's never going to get me. No, I cast, you know, biggest pressures over people's career. But he's not the glamorous footballer, but effective. You know, he have the ball, he's trying to keep it tight. You're not going to see. You're not going to see the dynamism you see from, from Mikel and Tony from it. But guess what? Whenever I get the ball, I'm going to keep it. Brilliant pass to, to Shamani Kazi for his goal. They get me as I like what I saw from him. Shamani Kazi seemed to be getting back his sharpness. Um, Demar Gray is Demar Gray. Bobby Reed, I was impressed with his performance. Led the team well. Yeah. Uh, as I said, the midfield wasn't great. Kevin Lambert got substituted at half time. I don't believe he was having an awful game, but it wasn't great. Latibo Deer was. Awful, football, but uh, Kevin Lambert get the sub. I said, go. <laughs> Our backline though could have been better on the day, but it wasn't the worst. I, 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 I like what I saw from Michael Hector, but this is never the measuring stick, anyway. This Grenadian team, uh, Michelle Bernard was okay, but as I say, sometimes I said, I'm sure saying, I'm sure say. It's a bigger than him, man. I'm sure so technically he's such a good footballer. Yeah. So he was so assured on his ball, but just slight. Yeah, and somebody may have get the chance to talk about who I know that um, you, you like whenever he plays for Jamaica. Jamali wait. Yeah. And again, as you would always say, he not deserve to continue that goal no, in this game. No, this so, man so. need a... Bro, it's coming like that. It's impossible to get a clean shoot. And he always deserve it. He always deserve it. Boy, oh boy. And I tell you, Jamali wait. Match, bro, he's one of the most sure handed yeah, but he, I've seen for Jamaica in a like long time. Coming like Harry, man. He's never clumsy. I mean, I've seen a mistake from the man like that. In and he's going to pull out a save when he's going In a long time. And as I said, I'm not, maybe I'm six foot tall. Like, I'm not, super, not, not very tall. I'm not super impressed with like him physical stature. But man, when I'm not having a height, he make up for a technical ability and, and skill for his foot. He's so sure. I'll give him some Technica- must be Technically, he looks. So good, technically, mm-hmm. one of the most sure-handed goalkeepers I've seen in national colours in such a long time. Yeah. He blow all of Andre Blake had a back up them in the past, well out of the water at, at this point. And he's doing Miller, and spot, bro. Kerr, and Amal Knight, and all of them, bro. None of them are sure. Like, I'm going to feel comfortable with any of them as comfortable yeah. as I felt with Jamal Will. That, that, feeling, you, that feeling you'd get? Whenever a uh, occur or uh, even Amal sometimes, yeah. so you see Amal have the odd mistake. Yeah. Whenever they come and in, it's like, I mean, I love to make it play. I'm still not look at, even Amal and I come in, he just don't look as short. He just don't look as clean. He just not technically as gifted. Mm-hmm. As Jamal the weight, the better I can keep, bro. Yeah, man. Top goalkeeper. And Grimmie must feel so secure whenever I'm, whenever. He feel good for Ghibli KRS yeah. right now. Um, obviously Philadelphia heavily dependent on yeah. on Andre Blake, and we are also whenever oh, yeah. we need. Uh, Andre Blake is the best goalkeeper. In the there league. we have it. So, but sometimes he yeah, go against a Grenada. Yeah, say Jamal Wait a work hard. Is a player that needs to be seen, yeah. and I feel believe the more he's seen, the more he probably can get a Bro, contract just at a higher up, level. Just rack up his third player week. There we go. Yes, in the so very good goalkeeper. So, to say him uh, one of if not the best goalkeeper in the USL. Yeah, and this is the thing that that I've always said. You know, we have co. You remember we have Copa America. We're gonna, we're gonna finish talk. We're gonna finish talking about about how the competition are gonna go out. You know, Simon yeah. sent sent us a document today, and um, with the outline of the competition. Um, I also did some reading on the format. So yeah. whatever we talk, we can get. Yeah. Done. So we have competition. Hopefully, Copa America in the summer. Mm-hmm. Then work of qualifying in the World Cup next summer. See? Um, Andre Blake, him the make out iron. Yeah. And this is my thing. You never know, get injured like that either since, since the early part time career. Yeah, he never not get that many injuries. Yeah, he's yeah. a reliable player, but he's still in the court. Yeah, yeah. 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 mm-hmm. Anything can happen. And my thing is, the more football they play, the better they play football. Mm-hmm. Right? And and Jamal Lewitt is a goalkeeper that we're going to be carrying to tournaments as our, as our understudy. He's going to be our backup goalkeeper. And Hargrimson, you know, 
take every single chance and get to play Jamal away in the odd instant that we are in. Copa America, quarterfinal versus Uruguay at the Rose Bowl in California. Andre Blake suspended. Mm-hmm. You get me? I say got two yellow cards for some foolishness. Or Andre Blake ankle not feel sad. You gotta put Jamal Wait in goal. We don't play for Jamaica since 2020. Or since 2021. Yeah. And him, him did every single call up, but him don't play because you're Andre Blake at number one. It's fine, I understand if it's a case where, like I just said, with Amar Knight versus Haiti or versus Grenada, we have Andre Blake play Andre Blake and we can't bother with the mistake. But if you have somebody where you feel comfortable about, where you can give football and make him play, Andre Blake can play football at the highest level in, in the region. You know, Andre Blake come and he has to play for Jamaica time and time and he's secured mm-hmm. his spot in the Japanese team. Make Jamal away play as many times as Jamal away can play. Yeah, I agree with everything I say. I'm just briefly talk about the Haiti game and the game and then get into the competition. One thing I can say, man, when it's gonna stop, I don't ever want it to stop. I don't foresee it stopping. But the market just can't stop scoring for Jamaica, bro. Honestly, and and obviously sometimes you see a player make a move in him career and yeah, wonder if he's still at the level. Ridiculous, man. I'm Ridiculous. <laughs> Come three years earlier. <laughs> I would probably wouldn't have a different conversation Gosh. right now. 35 probably wouldn't look as far as it is, as it, as it is right now. Probably would have who knows. 15 goals already, you get me, I said? Them are agree. Impressed every, every time I see him. Everything good that happens goes through them are agree. Um, he's the man for Jamaica. How do you feel about them are agree and his performance against Haiti? In both games, but in Haiti, he was just show stuff. Bro, how do you feel for them are agree since the World Cup? Yeah. Yeah. What? Right off the mark. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The man just, the man is a goal, bro. He's a goal. And him so confident, and him just take up the ball and just score. Mm-hmm. Take up the ball and try to score. Time and time and time again, he's so reliable. Yeah. And him come for an international break to play football. The, the, around, the, the, him not come for, 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 for sit down on the bench trying to come for. The man come to play football. You can't sit there and love to play football. Yeah. And me love players who love football. Sometimes I wonder if some of them ballers love football. They might mm-hmm. like him love football. And you know what? Off the field, me love how him embraced the national team. Yo, when him when him made the decision to come play for Jamaica and he got an Instagram post with the him in a him colored track suit and he must say, yo, what time to pick up the new challenge and embrace him roots and him go down a guy and must say and he might the tour all over the country, get me and say he must sign jersey and he must embrace the nation. It look good. Mm-hmm. Even if I just PR, it look damn good. And then him come and in addition to doing all of that, him run up and down and him get kick and him roll and him get foul and him get up back and him score goal and him kiss the badge and him walk off and him come back again all the way from Saudi Arabia. Just do it again. And do it again. Just do it again. And that, that's what it's about, man. I'm, I'm so pleased with them, Margaret. And he doesn't complain much. Get, he gets on with it. Whenever I make a mistake, oh, bad, my bad. I know it's my fault, whatever, whatever. You know, and so it's almost like whenever Jamaica play right now, you can't just write down the mark, you're good. good God. It's almost like Jamaica started one goal. You know, because this man just keeps scoring. And long may it continue, bro. We have, we have, the next game is going to be very competitive, regardless of whoever we play, which I think is all but confirmed at this point. Yeah, I think we know who it will be. We're going to need the mark, you fire. They get me, I say, I, I wish we could have get. So the same thing from the next wing. You know, like, don't get me wrong, Liam Bailey is slowly improving in the in the Jamaican shirt. But them are agree, man. Just a takeover and, and it's almost like you can't talk about the regular boys right now and not talk about them are agree. The number twelve of the man. Another you person. Like buy a number 12 shirt. You say a number twelve and a number fourteen no more. More than the fourteen shirt, but we can't get the fourteen shirt, bro. We're not for buy it. Ah, oh, but Jesus, you have it. What are you about? It's not so nothing. It's <laughs> not about nothing. <laughs> Miguel Antonio. Unsung hero, man. Man. What he does for this team goes unnoticed. And he unlocks something else whenever he plays. <laughs> Every single time. It's a new level. You think it's instruction? Because he's drop off. Again, let's look at his heat map. Bro, I'm not thinking of instruction, Reggie. What is heat map? I think so the man just come and the man just... All over the place. Later, he have more defensive. He have more defensive work than the man. The man just the man just like a come and him just like a knock the letter, bro. And just like a pick it up and him just like do it. Hey. Lose it. The man just wanted the right pass. He yeah. just wanted him to. And that's why 
Him club love him so much. Yeah. And like, but because he plays winning football, you know? mm-hmm. he's going to so work. So in hard. spite, barring the one year there when he start off and score like his eight goals, it's ridiculous. It's, it's ridiculous beginning to the year. Yeah. He come in, he come in. National team with that, that energy just stirs. That's true. <laughs> true. I'm an informer, man. <laughs> I scored three with quickness, you know. Yeah. But barring that anomaly, a couple of seasons ago, West Ham loved this man because he play winning football. Him fight. Him run, him always try to make the right pass. Him always try to make the right play at any given time. Yeah. That's the last bit that you said a while ago. Making the right play. I feel like that's the only thing that's in his head. You know, obviously sometimes you look and you say, I'm gonna try to trick the defense. But for the most part, whenever I'm getting the ball, him look up, he must say some options, oh, this is the best and pass to make, and I'm gonna try it. And if tricking the defense or if that is the best thing to do, I'm gonna do it. And sometimes it'll work. Yeah. Sometimes it don't work, but sometimes you keep doing the right thing, it will appear. You know, you see the, the goal that Chemanikas has scored. Where you just see two man a break. I'm going to put the ball in this space. If it too, if it if it if it sharply I'm still gonna get it. If it unpointly, I'm gonna score the goal. The Even if they are great goal. Send him there, try to send it back for Right. You see me so that's what it's all about, making the right play. And keep doing the right things. And we're gonna score goals. Good things are happening. So, Michael Antonio. I want to see more shots from him though. I know him have a long range shot from him. Why not try it? Um, one shot in the game. I don't think it's good enough. Yeah, but everything else more. make up for that. Yeah. You get me? I say. Yeah. Want to see more from him in one terms of, of one, taking one shots. One of our the, the most consistent player between him and Ethan Pinnock since was uh, since World Cup quality. Yeah, he's always good. He's always good. This is all this, but they don't really see a bad game from yeah. Ethan Antonio like that. And like, as I say, same thing for Ethan Pino. Um, let's talk about the competition though. Let me put the, the groups and things on the screen. But yeah, we finished top of our group. You know, unfortunately, not with maximum points. No, not with maximum points. I think either. tonight Trinidad are going to secure, well, tonight being the 17, mm-hmm. Trinidad are going to secure maximum points in their group. All right, so this is this is the Trinidad group. Yeah, they are on top right now. Yeah, play two games and they won out two games. Yeah. First of the season. Yeah, they're gonna finish top of the group there, and they're gonna finish with more points. So right now, ten points. Mm-hmm. They are nine right now, and they're gonna be just. Yeah, you see me. So they are going to get the hoping for a draw. Though. Yeah. All right. So we have to talk about the group stage, and then you do the, the next round. Yeah. So this group stage is um, is the Concacaf is employing uh, the Swiss format, which is I get to find out that whenever you have too many teams in a group with limiting match days, mm-hmm. they came up with a format which I, by the way, I think is not being employed properly by Concacaf, based on what I read, where teams don't play every team. I think you get to see each team once you're supposed to. But the trick of it is that they try to organize it in a way where each team is always playing at least equal opponents. So even though you're not playing everybody, them try some way, somehow to make everybody, to try to make it free, to make everybody a play at least equal opponents to try to balance out the score. That's what they try. It's so we're not supposed to, each team is not supposed to play the same opponent twice, but we play this, we play Haiti twice. Everybody. They, they, they play one, one opponent twice. So that's they weird. Zone, so look at Trinidad, I, no, I know. Trinidad that's what I said. I said they're not employ the rules, right? But when I read about the format, it said that you, you're not supposed to play more than more than play the same team more than once. But that's what it is. It's only because we don't have enough match days. Yeah, but then I disagree. Hmm. Because um you can play three matches in a FIFA window. You can have seen it happen before. You can. You but... can play Tuesday, mm. Friday, and Tuesday. Or Tuesday, Friday, and Wednesday. Mm-hmm. So, or Wednesday, Saturday, Tuesday. What's to stop that? Not much to stop it still in a but The thing is, we. And then the thing is, you know, we don't understand if I like seven, eight, nine teams in the group. Mm-hmm. But there are six teams in the group. So that would mean, in order for each I team. Probably to... overwork, bro. They don't want to cram the, they don't want to cram, cram the schedule too much. Because imagine you play a game on the weekend. But we've seen it happen before. We know, but you can't... Three matches, but, we play three matches in a FIFA window already. I see it, especially in the World Cup qualifying campaign. We see that happen. But may I say, they are probably saying that they don't want to run the players red. If you think about it, they would play on Saturday slash Sunday. 
come again play on Tuesday slash Wednesday. Then you go and play on Sunday slash Saturday. Then you play on Tuesday again slash Wednesday. Then you go and play on Saturday again slash Sunday. Yeah, bro, Sunday. but it's not a Saturday. Bro. I know it's not. But I understand why they would want to do it. And with this competition, they need. it is that they need to get to the quarterfinals by November. Yeah. So you have to get to, to make the competition finish in time, you yeah. have to get to the quarterfinals by November. Right. And I guess this is the best, best format. I would have loved to see just put three match, match days in, but I understand why because they Because remember, you know, two windows in we can still just play three and three. You know, this, no, it wouldn't have to be three and three. Mm. It doesn't have to be two and three. There's six teams in each. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so play three and three. Yes, yes, that, yeah, yeah, right. That would probably, be, probably would have been the best thing to do. So, so in a one, in a one window, you play yeah. two, and then another one. In another window, you play three. Yeah. You see me? I know you determine now who get more home games. Probably the highest ranked team in the zone get two home games. Some weird yeah. situation like that. But I understand them. I try to decide if I like the nine team in the zone. Yeah. If a nine team in the zone. Because that's every, the whole premise of every, the format. Yeah, everybody couldn't go play yeah, everybody. Yeah. But this would only require one additional match day for each zone. Just one additional match day. Which could have worked. Coaches rotate. They get me that's a year of business. They carry yeah. 23 players. Yeah. Rotate. In a tournament play, you still play two to three matches a week. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. The players the players play Sunday. Them reach Monday. Them have a match Wednesday. And after the match Wednesday, then they play again Saturday. And then they play against kind of teams playing today. And instead of playing teams four games, they play five. Okay. So be it. Ah, um, they get because, because, yeah. Instead of playing four games, they play five. Yeah. And each team will play each team. Yeah. Because Trinidad are going top the zone and they don't play Panama. But why are we playing Haiti twice? If five teams are in the group, we're going to shorter teams. Make why we never play Cuba? Or why we never play, why we never play with Suriname? Make it make Why we play Haiti twice? I don't get it. I guess they might try, as I you said, equal That's how they might try to. So, so you're going to see Jamaica most teams. Haiti and Honduras. So where you're going to see, if you look across the groups. What should they never play Panama? Weird, bro. So Panama, I guess it's that Panama and Trinidad would probably be the two strongest teams. Yeah. Who they compete against should equal out. Even if they don't play each other. But I guess if you want to be equal out, make them play each other. Yeah. Just like we play Honduras, I will play Haiti twice. Yeah. That it, makes it, sense. It's weird. It's weird. It's because weird. if we did go if we did go, go to Cuba or go to Suriname, those yeah. them. Yeah. You yeah, get yeah, me yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Haiti and, and Honduras are too. Haiti even get a win or you know? Which is weird. weird because Because Haiti don't get to play the team them with them. They don't play, play Cuba or Suriname. And if they played Cuba or Suriname. Then would have lost them. And did no, they play Cuba? I know, no, 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 I know. I think they played Cuba. No, I think that's true. Because they have a draw, right? Surinam, Surinam I think, draw yeah. So I think they, think they played one of those teams, but we get to play Haiti twice, which is kind of unfair to Haiti. They are playing the best and team at this level. Because we never get to play Cuba or Suriname. Right, right. And now, we goal difference worse than the second place team, Honduras. Mm -hmm. Honduras have better goal difference now. Because Honduras beat the Bricks off of Cuba and, and Suriname. And Duras never have a bother with Haiti. Yeah, because we scored 10 around. goals and conceded 5. They scored 8 and conceded 1. So our goal difference of 5 for them on a 7. Which, as you said, weird. I'm going to look at the Trinidad group. But again, I, and again, you know, this is the premise Trinidad of the competition. You know? I know, man, but this is the premise of the competition. It's about the points. So they said that at the end of the Swiss, yeah. the first, the, the group says that the Swiss format, the points are supposed to equal out. The points are supposed to look the same across the groups. And if you see, the points do look the same. But I can imagine teams feel like they've been treated unfair. Especially a Haiti. Especially a Panama who think them to top the group. Yeah. I feel like Even I've though they have a draw in there. Because mm -hmm. Panama never get the chance to play a Trinidad. Yeah. And if Panama play Trinidad, I guarantee you Jamaica going to be the best first place. Yeah. I don't know who would have finished first in that group then, eh? but I guarantee you Jamaica would have finished first. Panama Jato. Suriname. Panama Jato, Suriname. Yeah. Suriname is not a bad team. No, Suriname is not a bad team. They managed to get points out for me. But yeah, the next round now. So four teams get a bye. Yeah. Um, the top four ranked team. Everybody know, knows who they are. USA, Mexico. Yeah. Canada, Costa Rica. What happens next? Based on. Alright, so the, the, the two best, like the, the best first place team. Which is going to be? Which is. If, Unless Trinidad lose yeah, tonight. Or draw tonight. Or, yeah. You get me I say? Um, Trinidad, if Trinidad mm. win tonight and finish with 12 points, they're going to be the best first place team. So they'll play the fourth highest ranked team in Canada right now. And that is Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. And then the other, the other first place team, Jamaica, okay, this will play third. the third, which is Canada. Mm -hmm. And then the best second place team now, which mm -hmm. I reckon mm -hmm. will be Panama. 
mm-hmm. will play Mexico. And then the worst second place team, which will be on the US. Yeah, Panama. Yeah, which will be on the US. US, US, US America. Mm, and those are those are with the eight fixtures. No, the, four the, fixtures. The, the winner in those fixtures would. It's going to be a two-legged fixture in November, mm-hmm. which is exciting. So chances are we'll be going to the BMO field again for a big match. It never turn out. Yeah, going to be a BMO field. <laughs> But carry on. I work on the visa, man. You don't worry about that. Go on. It never, the last team who sent me out of the demo field, which was the girls, mm-hmm. a few weeks ago. Never up, pretty. That never turned out good at all. So, it, it most likely, it's going, it's going to be the same fixture. Mm-hmm. The same home and away. Not bad right now. I'm going to think that's no one going. In November, the demo right field will be so good. <sighs> It's November. Oh yeah, it's not even November. right, no. Yeah, it's November. Yeah, it's yeah, going yeah. to be a rough one. Yeah. It's not January, but it's still going to be. It's a little cold. It's going to be rough. It's a little cold. Um, so that's going to be. But cold has been better than money at this point, no. you know. I understand the snowy pitch, but China the cold worse than England. I understand. I understand. It's really for you. Yeah. Like yeah. It's way worse. Mm-hmm. Canada disgusting. But the thing about them about well, Canada, Canada are gentlemen. Right? They will play us in the afternoon and, and they have warm fields and stuff like that. So um, the weather shouldn't be the predicating factor in the football game. Not in November. Yeah. In a February fixture, then we can talk about it. But in November, they should be able to go out and be professional at the end of the year and, mm-hmm. and get a result. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, play our best football. As it stands right now, we will be playing Costa Rica. But yeah. Trinidad have a, have a game to play Curacao. tonight. Yeah. They're playing Curacao, who is in fifth place. Mm-hmm. I think they're the favourites to beat. So, actually, oh, come see, I can't see the game. If what is supposed to happen happens and children that beat you, so then we're going to play Canada. Yeah. We, we, we I can't see, even though we never do our party, we're going to draw a national stadium in the world. So, I'm not even ask somebody for no favour. Because all we have to do is just beat them. Beat it twice. And then, beat it twice. And then we'd have the highest ranked team coming out of the door yeah. with 12 points. Mm-hmm. Then we'd end up. Secure the match against Costa Rica. I wouldn't dare come from the farm. No. Just do what we have to do now. But I'm not about still. Canada, full time, I would take Canada. As we say, I want the opportunity to meet a team that we're not supposed to meet. Even though we're not, I don't feel like we're too far off Canada. Yeah. Canada is definitely beatable. But I can't say we are the favourites in the game. I haven't seen enough yet to say. Not when Canada has the best player in Congo. There we go. You see me? But yeah, are we that? Um, and so yeah, and, uh, and after that, the win, we qualify for Copa. Um, what is in the final? What is in the final? It, it will be semi-final. fixture four against fixture one, fixture three against fixture two. That's going to be the semi final, but that's going to be like tournament, you know, the final. Oh, it's yeah. like last year. Last all right, all right. All right so all that's right. going to be in the Wait a minute. Kelly? I'm not Vegas? sure where we're going to be. We're going to be in America. Mm. It's going to be in March. The finals. You get me? I say yeah. two games for all the marbles. The 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 four teams automatically qualify for Copa. The losing teams play against each other for two spots. Mm-hmm. All right, there we go. People, that's it. If you like the video, if you like this was a good one, and we spoke about a lot. We learned something. And if you like the video, like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to this at Sports TV. And one more thing first, no. Share the video to at least 10 people. Then sure to get a six of cows because if each and every one of you guys can manage to do that. You know how many subscribers are this by the end of the day, people? Oh, well, in. For now, this is at Sports TV. Gone, my gone, my father. Out.